Let's talk about the difference between a Jira issue screens and a Jira issues issue layout. They're both very, very much different, but yet very, very much the same. And in this video, we're finally going to demystify the differences and which one you need to be configuring depending on the outcome that you want to get out of Jira. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out those links down below, because if you're wondering how can I help support this amazing channel with these amazing videos, well, the links are down below. Specifically, go give some love to the sponsors of this video as they make these videos possible. So go try out their apps, start those free 30 day trials, and don't forget to check out the other links for the merch store, the paid courses and everything else I got going on. Let's jump into Jira and talk about this conundrum of confusion. Don't want to sleep in cuz I got something to prove. I got to take what I hate and finally make a move. This video is sponsored by Appbox. All right, so we've all been here before where we go to an issue and here we are in an issue and we have fields, but we want to manipulate which fields are visible and which ones are not. And there's two different ways of doing this. And they're both very confusing if you don't know what's the difference. So there's two different options that are available to you when you want to manipulate which fields show up in your Jira issues. So method number one is via the issue screens. Now this method requires you to be a Jira administrator. This is a very advanced thing in Jira and you want to be trained in how to do this, which obviously after this video, you're going to know exactly how to do it. The other method is through the issue view layout. Now this method, you just need to be the project administrator. It's a lot easier and it's much more user friendly and everybody can do it. It's way, way easier, but you don't always yield the same results. And I'm going to give you the caveats in this video, but those are your two options. So let's start off with the harder one and then we'll go to the easy one. So in order to do the harder one, you need to go into your project. You need to go to project settings. So if you can't access project settings, you're already dead in the water. But to be honest, you're going to need to be able to access project settings to do either method. So you're dead in the water if you can't get to this particular screen. Now, when you get to this particular screen, you're going to go under issues. And what we're going to be discussing in this video is layout versus screens. Because like I mentioned at the beginning, they're very much different because obviously they have their own categories here, but they're pretty much exactly the same thing. And so I'm going to break them down for you so you understand the differences between the screens and the layouts. But first, we're starting off with the screens. So when you click on screens, what you're going to see here is your issue type screen scheme. Now, this video is not designed to be a here's how screens work type of video. So make sure you go check out that training. But what it is designed to do is to help you understand what's happening here. So when we want to manipulate the fields that are available in Jira, you want to do so at the screen level. And so when we click here under this arrow, you're going to be exposing these different screens. Now, a quick disclaimer, you would think that if we want to manipulate the fields that are available in your Jira project, that we would go to the fields section over here. But no, no, no. That is to go make fields required. And that is a, an even more extravagant option that we don't even want to touch in this video. But ultimately, if you want a field to not even be available, to not even be an option, we're going to go to fields. But that's usually way, way more drastic. Most of the time, the biggest use case, the common use case is, hey, I want a field here and I don't want it over there or I want it to show up in a specific way. So for that, we are going to do it either in the screens or the layout. The fields is a very, very drastic, very, very not in scope for this video. Okay, so with that little disclaimer out of the way, let's talk about what we're looking at here. So there's three operations when it comes to interacting with fields in Jira. We're going to be creating an issue, we're going to be editing the issue, and we're going to be viewing the issue. Okay, so in this section here, under this screen scheme for this particular set of issue types, we have the ability to manipulate a screen which is inside of the screen scheme, which is inside of the issue type screen scheme. Okay. But the operations are the most important part because in Jira, you have the ability to manipulate which fields are present, depending if you're trying to create an issue, edit the issue or view the issue. Now, if you manipulate the create issue, what you're going to do is you would have a screen here. Notice that they're all the same out of the box. So this is really bad because the moment that you want to deviate, the moment you want to differentiate between what fields show up when you create, what fields are editable, and which fields are viewable, you're going to have to create different screens. It's the only way to do it. But 
out of the box, Jira assumes, hey, the same fields that you want to be able to create, you're going to want to edit and you're going to want to view them. So thus, it gives you the same screen. But again, if you want to manipulate this, go and check out my managing screens video because that one's going to explain to you how you actually change this. In this video, I'm just going to explain to you the differences, okay? Hey, I hope you're enjoying today's video. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. As a Jira admin, how do you keep your Jira instance well-maintained, optimized, and free of inactive or unused projects and configurations? Well, you could do this manually by yourself, or you could use the complete admin tool optimizer for Jira to audit and configure, clean up and optimize Jira in a matter of minutes. It's the secret superpower helping thousands of Jira admins worldwide keep their Jira instances in tip top shape. Check it out using the link in the description down below. And now back to the video. When we say, hey, I don't want a particular field to show up in Jira. Well, one option is to come in here into your screen and go into it. So you're going to click into it and then get rid of it. So I can come in here and remove labels. And so if you do that, it'll be removed. But the ability to do this, what I just did, clicking on that remove button is only granted to your Jira admins. So if you're not a Jira admin, you're not going to be able to do this. And this is why this is the hard one, because you need to have more power than you think you have in order to do this. But if you do this successfully, or at least your Jira admin does, when you go to hit the create button for that particular project, that labels field is gone. It used to be here between priority and epic link, and it is gone. You're not going to be able to create it. Thus, you're not going to be able to view it. Thus, you're not going to be able to edit it because it doesn't exist. So that's the most drastic option, but that's how you can manipulate which fields are there or which fields are not there at the screen level for this particular project. Now, a couple of things for you to consider with what we just did. One, the biggest one is you got to be a Jira admin. If you're not a Jira admin, you're not going to be able to get to the screen. So this option is automatically out of reach for you. Second, you have to do this for the different issue types and screen schemes that you have available to you. So you might have to do it here and you might have to do it for the bugs or for whatever else you got going on. Different issue types are going to have different fields. Okay. So that's a couple of disclaimers there. The other thing that I want you to consider is that this is a, a, again, a little bit more confusing, right? It's not as trivial. It's not as easy because you have to come and find all this. This is really hard to kind of figure out where this is all at. And so I will leave this option, which is very effective, right? As you can see, we no longer have a label, right? The label's gone. It's very effective. It will work, but it, it takes effect everywhere. So now if we go into an issue, so if I go back to my project and I go into an issue like this one, there is no labels on the right-hand side, no labels down here. We completely got rid of it. So we can't view it. And thus, if we can't view it and we can't create it, we obviously can't edit it because it's not visible, right? It's not in the view. So that is a pretty drastic option. Now, let's assume that we want to do the same thing. Let's pick a different field this time, but we don't have Jira admin rights. Well, that's where option two is going to work out for you. So option two is all about the issue layout. Now, this option is much different than the first option because it only impacts the view screen, which is still the same screen for create and edit. It's kind of like a container. It's going to fake impact the view screen. It's, it's a very subtle yet simple trickery that Jira does on top of the view screen. So you're not actually deleting the field, but Jira is going to think that it's gone. And so because of this, you don't need to be a Jira admin and it's going to work very effectively and give you the result that you want without risking all the other stuff that the Jira admins have to worry about. So how do we do that? Well, there's two different ways to get to that issue layout. Method number one is to go over here back to project settings. And as I mentioned a few moments ago, if you're not a project admin for your project, you're dead in the water. You can't get to the screen. Tough luck. Go, go become a project admin and then come back to this video. And then we're going to go to layout this time instead of screens. And so that method is going to get you to this view here. That's going to let us do what we want to do. The other method is if you're in an issue, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom right. And let me move myself real quick. You'll see that there's this configure button here. If you click on that, that's going to take you straight into the issue layout for this particular issue type. Now notice that this screen is different than this screen, but watch what happens when I click on edit issue layout from the first step. Well, now they're both exactly the same. So they're both going to yield us the same result. 
One is obviously a little bit easier because there's just that little gear on the bottom right corner. Click on that. That's my preferred option. Okay. So once you're here, now it's super easy, right? So let's assume that we want to get rid of fixed versions. So if we want to do that, we can move the fixed versions over to the right. Now, this is basically the same thing that we did earlier with the other method, which was removing this field, but this time we're not removing, we're just simply gonna hide it, if you will, right? And so when we hit save changes here, we're not gonna be able to go back to our issue. And when we go over here, notice that we now no longer have a fixed version. That fixed version field is completely missing. And so we're able to manipulate and hide fields in this manner so that people can see them. But here is the biggest difference between what we just did now versus what we did in the first example. Because now when I go to hit create issue, and I come down, I'm going to still see my fixed version. It's still in the create screen, but it's just not visible, but I can still create it, which now leaves you with a different conundrum of like, well, why would you be able to create it, but not be able to see it and thus not be able to edit it. So it just depends on the use case that you're solving for, but it is very possible for you to make a field read only at this point where you can populate it, but you'll never be able to see it, but it's in the issue. So it'll still pull up in your metrics. And so you kind of want to consult with a professional if you're kind of confused at this point, right? But I just wanted to show you those are the differences. Those are the different ways to hide fields, whether you're doing it at the screen level or with that issue layout. As you can see, they're both going to yield you similar results, right? The field's gone, but they both have very different effects, right? One of them is going to completely eliminate the field while the other one's going to just kind of mask it away. And so depending on what you're trying to achieve here, you're going to want to go method one or method two. And also most importantly, depending on the permissions that you have in Jira, you're going to go with method one or method two. If you're a Jira admin, the best way to do this is to go with method one. If you're not, then method two is obviously going to be your best bet. Hey, I hope you're enjoying today's video. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. As a Jira admin, how do you keep your Jira instance well-maintained, optimized, and free of inactive or unused projects and configurations? Well, you could do this manually by yourself, or you could use the complete admin tool optimizer for Jira to audit and configure, clean up and optimize Jira in a matter of minutes. It's the secret superpower helping thousands of Jira admins worldwide keep their Jira instances in tip top shape. Check it out using the link in the description down below. And now back to the video. So that's it for this video. If you found it valuable, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you share this video with your Jira admins. Maybe you are trying to do this and you're like, hmm, this is why I haven't been able to do it. Share this video with your Jira admins so that they know and can help you out with this problem. And again, if you're wondering how can I help support this amazing channel that makes all this cool content, well, check out those links down below. Specifically, go check out my sponsors that help make these videos possible. Go show them some love, try out their apps, leave them a review, and I'll see you in the next one. So fight.